Hello guys, welcome back. This is another video by Blue Island Design. This is one again. And today we're going to get into the world of number lists. And to do that, we're going to go and use an amazing program called InDesign. Now something I'm going to require from you guys is a little bit of knowledge prior to, to do this video because we're going to do a little bit of um, paragraph styles in the next chapters and then probably I'm going to cover a few things that I'm assuming a little bit of knowledge. But I believe that it's going to be very handy. And a side note, please come and say hi on our blog. You can actually come and see the videos here. You can write comments and you can actually be part of this community that we're trying to build. And yeah, don't be, don't be shy. Come on, shoot us a line or something. So what I'm going to do is, uh, what are number styles? First, here I'm working with a project that we're, we're doing here in Blue Melon Design and it's a branding for Fired Design. This is a studio of interior design. It's going to do some, they do floral arrangements and they organize events, which is pretty cool. And obviously with that permission, what we've done is we've started to build the branding and everything, which is a long process of building a lot of elements, as you can see here. And we created this document that's got pretty much a lot of little items that we want to have with numbers, right? Uh, you don't want to be coming here and typing these by hand because what if the client wants to add another thing or wants to delete something or, you know, you don't want to, it's really hard to control all these little numbers. And if you have to do it by hand, most likely you're going to be making mistakes, especially if it's a long document. Now, at the moment, you can see we've got four big chapters. We haven't finished this document. And we're almost everyone, it's got at least three little items or three sections within that main chapter. Now today, or in this video, I'm going to start to show you how to create level numbers. So this one, we're going to talk about level one. You can see that this table of contents, oh, sorry, this table of contents got number one, that's my level one, and then things that are inside the name, my main chapter, it's keywords of the brand, keywords of the visual language, playing with words and things that we tend to do here in Blue Mountain Design when creating a brand. So yeah, all these things are part of the name. And to do that, we're going to use numbers. So I'm going to go here, I've created this little document, as you can see, pretty cool. Very, very, very simple. What I've done actually here, I created a list, assuming, let's imagine a client has given us these. And we've got transport, I made it blue, all caps. Then we've got cars and bicycles, because they're both part of transport, and some brands that are relevant to these specific items. So, as you can, if you think about it, we've got three levels. We've got one, which is transport. Then inside transport, you've got cars and bicycles. And inside cars, you've got BMW, Honda, and Volvo. I know it's probably starting to sound a little bit too much, or a little bit too tricky, but let's think about if we were creating some kind of cascading um, style here. What I'm going to do with these number styles is let's create my first level. So how do I actually create a number style in InDesign? Well, what I'll do is I'm going to turn on my hidden characters, Command Option I, double click on the text frame and Command A to select all the text. This is just to tell InDesign where do I want to put my numbers. Once you've got that selected, at the top of your properties palette, you can see that you've got a little number list. Yeah, and it says number list. When you click on it, what happens is InDesign is going to come here and create automatic page num and automatic numbers. Now you can see that it goes from 1 to 16. That's pretty cool. We've got a little bit of a problem with this alignment here. Like obviously we want all these wording to be aligned with the ones that are underneath. And the problem is coming that as soon as you enter a double digit, it's pushing the words towards the right. Now we're going to need to fix that alignment for sure and most importantly is if I was going to give these, this doesn't make a lot of sense. I've got transport but I want cars to be inside transport so I need the cars in reality should be 1.1 yeah so we're going to get that soon that's our goal let's see if we can make it but for now let's talk about how can I actually fix the spacing between my number and the words. So to do that, we need to go to the options of my number list. All you need to do is go back again where we were and where we, you know, select this little option. And what I want you to do is go option, click on it. As soon as you option click, InDesign is going to give you this window. 
And I think that's the quickest way of getting to this window, which is the bullets, bullets and numbering option. Now, in here, it seems that we've got a lot of information, uh, but for now, we're not going to focus too much on numbering style. You can change the format, that's as far as I'm going to go, of depending on what set of numbers do you want. I'm going to keep it one on a normal, the traditional way. And here on the bullet or number up position, that's where we want to play a little bit with. What I'm going to do is, you can see that left indent is going to push everything to... I'm pushing all the things, so the gap, it's this left. That's why it's called left, it's the gap here, even though things are moving to the right. I'm going to move it maybe to 10 mils. And my first line indent, in this case, it's not going to work. I'm going to type 0. As soon as I type 0, by default, InDesign is going to add a tap position at 12.7. And I'm going to leave it just like that for this particular exercise. I don't want to talk about tabs in here, but you can see now all my words are completely aligned and my numbers are there. You can actually change the tab if you wanted to, or if you want to change the space a little bit more, you can do that. Uh, but as I said to you guys, I'm not going to get into tabs on this particular chapter. This is how we actually start to create our first level number list. So you select everything, option click, you establish or you fix all the spacing that you want. You can actually come and click these values and see live, as long as preview it's on, what the changes are doing, just in case maybe you're not sure. And as long as you're in this particular window, you're going to be safe. Now what I'm going to do in the next video is, we're going to actually do my second level style, which is we're going to push this level, cars, we're going to push it inside and it's going to be 1.1. So join me please in the next video. Hopefully this is a little bit helpful. I know it's basic but it's going to make more sense as soon as we get through the videos. Have a good one. Bye.